want to start us off? Just tell me what that day was like for you guys. I mean, a lot, a lot of ups and downs, crazy plays. The crowd was hugely in it. Man, it was a, uh, it was everything I hoped for. Man, just guys, we didn't give up. We kept fighting the whole time. We really played together as a team, and <clears throat> that's the biggest thing, you know. Just like Damian was talking about earlier, man. We were talking about it all week. Just we gonna send the seniors out the right way, and everybody was on the same page, and we had each other back. So, so Brenton Cox, we know was injured during the off season, but yeah. is this the Brenton Cox that we've been thinking we were gonna see for two years here? Oh yeah, don't don't get it mistaken. Brenton Brenton is the true. I tell y'all, Brenton is the true. You know, he obviously he been battling with some things all year and. It's tough to do, but you know he keep he goes out there every week and fights with his brother. But Cox is the truth. Y'all know that. Four sacks. Did you know that? Four sacks. That boy showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Zach. Hey, um, Zach over here. FSU still think you're too skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's it's still crazy to me to this day. They really said I was too small to play there, but hey, we just won. How does it feel to to end it with the win over the Seminoles and and just have this kind of senior day with with your guys? It mean everything, man. Um, especially with how much we've been through this year, man. You know, took a lot of we took a lot of losses this year, and you know, a lot of people the a lot of people don't know how you know that can affect you and wear you down. But guys, we continue to fight and stick together. And that's what we continue to do. And obviously, it was a, always a, a big recruiting weekend. What, what do you think that showed to the guys that were here in attendance about what the future holds with the players that are still going to be here next year? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the way you that's the way you want to end it. You know, it just shows that we have a lot to build on. And, you know, we have a lot of young guys this year, but a lot of guys will be older guys next year. So, you know, that that just left them something to build off on. Thomas? <clears throat> Zach over here. If you had to explain to somebody kind of the story of this team and what's what's important about the story to you, how mm -hmm. would you kind of do that? What would it be? What would you focus on? I just, honestly, I just talk about, you know, the trials and, you know, the tribulation we've been through. but. You know, the perseverance at the end to just keep going no matter what happening. You know, losses, coaching changes, all kind of crazy stuff going on. We just stayed focused and got the job done. Nate Delatorre. Over here. Um, what, how does this team feel about getting bowl eligible today and, and the possibility of having one more game together? It's a great feeling. Uh, we've, been, we've been talking about it. All week, man, you know, we knew what was at stake this game. You know, they, they were fighting for a bowl. We were fighting for a bowl, and we wanted it more. We wanted to get to that bowl. And then what was your what was, what was going through your mind during senior day ceremonies? Did you kind of let yourself, you know, get emotional, look at, you know, take it all in, or are you still just kind of locked in and ready for the game at that point? Honestly, man, I was so I was so locked in, so ready to play. Like, I didn't even have time to be emotional. Like, I was sad. I was sad inside, but like, I kept a, I kept a straight face, locked in face. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of surreal though. Like, it still, it still doesn't feel real that, at my last game in the swamp, it still don't feel real. So, honestly, I think it hit me. It probably hit me in the morning. Maybe, I wake up. I'm like, man, that's it. Do you have one thing that sticks out to you today that you'll probably hold on to from this game? <laughs> Man, at the end of the game, I got to stand up with the band. That was my first time ever standing up with the band, man. And it was just a good feeling to be up there, you know. I'm directing, I'm directing music and just having a good time, man. That's how you want to go out. So, yeah. Did you stay on beat? I stayed on beat. Come on, man. <laughs> Jake in the back. Hey, Zach. So, I mean, Jordan Travis just looks like a really hard guy to tackle. Um, how did you feel about how the pass rush today and containing him? Man, we had him we had him out there scrambling for his life. <laughs> he was out there scrambling for his life. And you know, on the field, on the field, I actually said something to him. I said, We coming, boy. 
I said, we coming. He said, you got to catch me. <laughs> so, you know, he, we, knew, we knew what he could do with his legs, and he was, he was extending a lot of plays, but we just continued to bring the rush, even when he, he had a couple good runs, you know. But overall, I think we did a good job containing him as a D-line. Kamori said that he was kind of surprised earlier in the week to find out that the game was going to be a sellout, considering everything that has gone on recently. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised to find out that there were 88,000 strong out there today? Oh, no, I wasn't surprised at all. Uh, if you check my Twitter, um, at the beginning of the week, I had sent out a tweet, you know, last one in the swamp, uh, let's see if we could sell it out. And that's what they did. So I'm thankful for Gator Nation. And what have you said in the last week to some of the younger guys about buying back in and, and trust in the process, considering you, you've been through a coaching change before and yeah. you understand what the other side looks like? Well, yeah, I've been telling guys, you know, I've been through this. I've been through this already. You know, you just have to stay focused on what you have to do. You know, stay locked in, keep working, and the rest, every, control what you control, and the rest will take care of yourself.